Hey, hit that like and subscribe. Just want to talk about this real quick. There's been a lot of accidents going the wrong way on the highway so far. Like 2021, there's been a lot. I don't know. Maybe they need to install like, uh, what is it? One of those light, light up stop signs or something i don't know because people be going the wrong way at night time because they don't know which way they're going i even caught myself going the wrong way a couple times and i was like hold on no 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 that's not the right way so if someone was just not paying attention a little bit and because in general you would have to know that all las vegas all las vegas all i don't know other states possibly Colorado and other states like that but I mean there has to be something at nighttime where it's like no this is the wrong way you know like I don't know there's just been a lot of accidents I've been noticing lately of people going the wrong way when they're getting on the highway anyways stay positive stay blessed and before you get on the highway make sure you're going the right way because there's been a lot of accidents lately all right then play this video of the clip breaking overnight two people are dead following a wrong way crash on the 215 13 action news reporter Sean Delancey is live near far hills and the beltway where the road is still closed Sean what can you tell us this morning yeah Kelsey the 215 is still closed to northbound travel as crews work to clean up following this tragic accident all of this right by the far hills exit Nevada Highway Patrol says that two people were killed in this crash that happened right around 1230 in the morning police say that a white Volkswagen sedan was heading south in the northbound lanes heading towards oncoming traffic and hit a silver scion head on right under this far hills overpass. They say that the drivers of both cars were killed in the impact. NHP went on a media blitz recently following a wrong way crash on the 15 near the speedway that killed one person and injured four others where impairment was suspected to be a cause. Now officers have called on people never to drive drunk or high, slow down and pay attention to avoid situations just like this one. Right now, it is not clear yet whether impairment was a factor in this latest wrong way crash. Uh, police say that they are working to get this cleaned up right at the moment and the tow trucks are on scene, but it's still not clear when the northbound lanes of the 215 will be opened up on the west side of the valley here. So it's best just to avoid this area altogether and find another route. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News.